When hurricanes reach Category 5 status, they become the Earth's most powerful storms. And Hurricane Wilma was one of them. October 2005, Wilma unleashes its fury over the Atlantic with peak winds of 185 miles an hour. The storm carves a wide path of destruction from Mexico to Florida. Al Roker is reporting live from the city of Naples as it's being slammed with the hurricane's Iowa, the part of the storm with the strongest winds. As you can see, we're getting the backside of the Iowa here. We're actually on the balcony at a Ritz Carlton. Uh, so it was one of the nicest hurricanes I uh, rode out. To keep him on his feet, a cameraman wraps his arms tightly around Al's leg. It is brutal. When you look at this view, you look at those trees in the background, they're just going nuts. So you can see that this is this is some serious wind that Al is standing in. I mean, they are losing trees left and right. It is un unbelievable. Besides the wind, there's debris flying in the wind. There's all sorts of projectiles. Uh, anything can happen. It takes a lot of wind to knock a grown man over. I don't care what size you are. You want to laugh at it, but at the same time, you notice the seriousness of it. It was just kind of a scary moment because uh, you, you realize the power of this and, and you have really had no control over it. Hurricane Wilma caused widespread devastation, leading to the deaths of 22 people and more than $20 billion in damages. I think when the public sees a reporter standing out in a hurricane, they're like, well, why do we need people standing out in a hurricane? Well, there are people that live there that have evacuated, that want to know what's happening. Storm surges of 12 feet up to 15 feet. Our job, in a sense, is to tell people, don't do what we're doing. It's one of those things that's doing a service to tell people, hey, you don't want to be out here. No, we're here. We're doing it as safe as we can but it can be very dangerous to stay out of it.